Welcome back. I was a youngster in the late 1940s, and the United States and the rest of the world were just recovering from the Second World War. Amongst the other things my parents did during the war, they raised chickens. These chickens started out as baby chicks under a brooder in my bedroom. Yes, I was displaced by chickens, but that's not my story. Following the war, it was time to stop raising chickens and to clean out half of our detached garage that was used as a chicken coop. The garage was about 50 feet behind our house and had a dirt floor. A raised wooden floor was put over the dirt for the chickens. As part of cleaning out the garage, the floor had to be removed. Guess what was under the floor? You guessed it, rats. Next door to us was a small farm. The farmer and his daughter had a small dog named Trixie. This dog couldn't have been much bigger than 16 inches long and maybe stood 10 to 13 inches tall. It's hard to remember exactly, but he was a very small dog. One trait this dog had was that when one mentioned the word rats, the dog shook all over. Well, needless to say, when it was time to clean out our garage and remove the flooring, Trixie was brought over to assist and assist he did. As the flooring was being removed, the rats started to scurry out of the garage. Trixie would grab one rat at a time by the back of the neck, shake the rat a couple of times to break its neck, and hurry to get the next rat. Trixie didn't play with the rats. He was on a mission. When the flooring was completely removed and there were no more rats coming out of the garage, Trixie had done his job. We had two to three bushel baskets of dead rats. It was an outstanding accomplishment by a small dog and an event that I remember six decades later like it was only yesterday. Doing some research prior to writing this blog post, Trixie may have been a rat terrier. There is a website, https colon forward slash forward slash canna-pet.com forward slash breed forward slash rat terrier that talks about rat terriers. A link to the website is included in the description for this video. The following was taken from their website. Quote, the rat terrier is an all-American breed. These dogs were the result of several terrier breeds, which has given them a unique characteristic and appearance and appearance they have today. Throughout history, the rat terrier breed has been used for their agile hunting skills, excelling in targeting small games such as rats and rodents. Rumor has it that President Theodore Roosevelt coined the name after his own dog who took care of the rat infestation problem that was occurring in the White House during his presidency. Although there is still speculation whether it was the rat terrier or a different terrier that the president owned, the name stuck and has been used ever since. Starting in the 1910s, rat terriers were used on farms across America to control pesty rodents. They were often interbred with other varieties of terriers to improve their speed, size, and hunting skills. Whatever kind of dog Trixie was, he was amazing. You had to see him in action to believe. See you in my next video.